Hey dreamers, good day. In this session, let's find out real quick how much PC gaming will affect your electric bill. PC gaming power consumption will depend on the following. Hardware or rig you have, the game you play, hardware and game settings, how long you play games. Here is the PC gaming specification that we will use for this video. Please take note that the CPU and GPU are not overclocked. Personally, in order to save power, I only set the game graphics to medium or high and the resolution to less than 1080p. But for the purpose of this video, I have set the game graphics to ultra so that we can see how much maximum power the PC rig that I have will consume. So let's get started. Aside from the game, please pay attention also to the watt meter in the lower right corner of the screen. The first game that we will try is Need for Speed Heat. The game was released in November of 2019. Please take note that due to screen recording, the game FPS is lower than actual. Max watts recorded is 214. Next game will be Mortal Shell. The game was released in August 2020. It's a Souls-like game. Max watts recorded is 217. Now that we have seen the power consumption, let's do some computation of how much it will cost per month to play PC games based on the highest watts that we have recorded. We will base our computation with the Miralco energy provider here in the Philippines. Please take note that the cost of kilowatt hour varies on each electric bill. We will just use a single bill for reference. The electric bill has a total cost of 6,294.65 pesos. If we divide that with total kilowatt hour, then we will get 9.624 pesos per kilowatt hour. Considering that the game you play constantly consume 217 watts, let's assume also that you play around 10 hours a day. If we multiply those two numbers, then we will get a total of 2170 watt hour a day. Multiply that with 30, then we will get 65,100 watt hour per month. Then we can convert it to kilowatt hour by multiplying it to 0 0.001. Let's multiply the kilowatt hour to 9.624, then we will get a total of 626.52 pesos per month, which to date equivalent to 12.94 USD. So there you go. Now you have an idea of how much PC gaming will affect your electric bill. Next time, let's discuss on how we can save energy in PC gaming. Many thanks for watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell. Bye for now.